Right, are you ready? Now put your feet up on the chair and close your eyes. You are standing on the Cartesian wow. plane. It's huge and flat. It goes on forever. How do you find your way around here? You could really get lost. Let me show you what mathematicians use to guide you around the Cartesian plane. But what are those? They look like number lines crossing each other. You are absolutely right. There are two number lines which cut or intersect each other at an angle of 90 degrees. Really? But they don't look like 90 degrees to me. Maybe it would help if I showed you how the plane would look if we were to draw it in your book. Right, now here is the plane you are standing on. But where am I? These are your feet over here. We call this number line here the x-axis. Okay, so that's what this line is called. So what's that number line called? That is known as your y-axis, which is this line over here. Now let's have a look at the point where the number lines intersect. This point is known as the origin. I'm now going to show you how you can use these axes to find your way around there. Can you tell me where you are standing on the Cartesian plane right now? What do you mean? I mean, use the numbers on the axes to describe where you are now. Well, I'm in line with the 3 on the x-axis and in line with the 2 on the y-axis. But how would I write that down? Every point in the Cartesian plane has a pair of coordinates that tell us exactly where it is. But there are some rules about writing down a point. First, you need brackets. Mathematicians choose to write the x-coordinate first and then the y-coordinate. So your x-coordinate is 3 and your y-coordinate is 2. And then you write in your coordinates. So the x is 3 and the y is 2. You must remember to separate the x and y coordinates by a semicolon. Okay, now I get it. So I'm standing on point 3, 2. Can I try another one? Go for it. How about this one? If I trace this point back to the x-axis, its x-coordinate is negative 1. And its y-coordinate is 3. So this is the point negative 1, 3. That was really good. 